Hello, my name is Sarah Edgar from Pretty Fabrics and Trims and in this short film I'll be sharing my favourite tools and notions for hand embroidery. The great thing about hand embroidery is that you actually need very little equipment to create something really beautiful. What you will need are some embroidery needles, embroidery thread, embroidery hoops and a pair of hand embroidery scissors. I also use a magnetic needle minder and I have a wooden thread organiser to keep my threads nice and neat. So let's talk about your needle and thread. You're going to need some specific embroidery needles and also some stranded cotton. Now stranded embroidery cotton is made up of six separate strands of thread and how many you use will determine how thick the line of stitching is that you create. So from the six strands of thread, I generally use two strands separated from the main floss. So what I like to do is to sort of flatten the strand of thread and then you can see the six strands. Now separate out two. Now if you sort of take them from one side, you'll find that as you pull the strands apart, so you've got two strands in one hand and four strands in the other, the main floss will separate nicely. Now if it does get tangled, just go nice and slow and generally pull it and you'll find it will separate lovely just like that. Okay, so you've got four strands and two strands. And that's what you're going to use in your embroidery needle. Now, an embroidery needle has a nice long hole, so it makes it easier to thread your needle Occasionally, I also like to use um, an Aurifil 12 weight thread. Um, this is what I've used in our most recent Happy Stitches Journal Volume 3. And if I'm using that, I use one of my big stitch needles, which is just slightly bigger than the hand embroidery ones. And just a little tip for you, when you're threading your needle, if you thread it directly as the end that you've pulled from the spool of thread, it will thread so much easier. Here's my needle minder. So how this works, you put the wooden disc onto the front of the fabric and the little metal ring goes underneath with the fabric sandwiched in the middle. The magnet sandwiches the two together and then when you're not using your needle, it will sit securely on top. So no more dropped needles. My lovely thread organiser just keeps my threads nice and orderly whilst I'm working on my piece. Embroidery scissors, just make sure they're quite small, makes them easier to use and that they're very sharp and they have a lovely point at the end. An essential tool is your wooden embroidery hoop. They come in a multitude of sizes, but um, my go-tos are a seven inch and a five inch, and occasionally I use a little dinky four inch hoop too. As you can see, they're a two piece item, and you have the inside, which is like a fixed wooden circle, and then you have the outer frame, which is secured tightly with the screw at the top. The inside hoop, you can see here, is wrapped, um, or I've actually wrapped it in a cotton tape. The reason being that it helps prevent the fabric from bruising when it's in the hoop. And little tip, never leave your fabric in your hoop. Always take it out and leave it flat when you're not working on it. So um, to simply cover the hoop, you'll just need to remove the inside, 
circle and then add some glue around the sort of edges on all sides and then you use some cotton ribbon, cotton tape, um, something that you have to hand and wrap it around, add more glue, add more tape and keep going until you've completely covered the hoop. Leave it to dry and then you're all set to go. When you're ready to put your embroidery into the hoop and start stitching, place the inside hoop on a flat surface and then pop your fabric on top. Make sure it's nice and pressed and you want the grain of the fabric to be horizontal and, and vertical. What you don't want to do is it to go in at a sort of skew whiff angle or obscure the fabric. Then place the outer ring on top and push it down and you'll see it makes the fabric go nice and taut. Um, Nan always said it should be like the skin on a drum. Okay, so you can adjust it slightly by pulling the fabric, but again, be careful not to distort the fabric as you're securing it and then tighten the screw. So righty tighty to tighten it, lefty loosey to loosen it. And you'll see that you can also use a screwdriver to actually make it lovely and tight if you're struggling to do it by hand. And that's it, you're ready to go.